Engines roaring, feel the beat, feel the beat. Ryan and John can't be beat, can't be beat. On the fast lane, so sleek, so sleek. Got a rev up, hit the street, hit the street. Ooh, yeah. back everybody the fast lane uh, john williams rhino kind of hello everybody and welcome to a, another weekend of formula one action mm. the other side of a max verstappen uh, lando norris rg bargy good for the sport get in there max hot topic at the moment i mean we spoke about it off air i do believe that this is the way to go yeah. Good old fashioned hard racing. Yeah. Listen, but no free. Let's unpack it. Yeah, no paddle, no boy groups, no boy bands kind of thing. Come on now, man. This is racing. It's an individual sport. We need to see the Alan Prost. Not just Montoya. 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 Carlos Montoya phoned me. Oh, okay. One Pablo Montoya is trying to phone me. Yeah, I see so. He's probably looking for a drive. Looking for a drive. He could take the Red Bull uh, seat of Perez, definitely. We were saying, but none of this boy bands, I don't know, yeah. boy bands not maybe a good example because there's some boy bands that have boy band members that don't like one another, right? And that's Yeah, fine. but what I'm saying, yeah, you but can't create You've got to have you, rivalry. You are, yeah, you've exactly. got to have two people that on the racetrack don't like each other at all. Talking to people that race, they want to go out there, that's your enemy you're racing against, right? In your mind, yeah. you've got to be in that space that exactly. goes, this is not the guy I'm going to hold hands and sing Kumbaya with in the on the Monarchan beach when it's done I want to go this is the guy I want to beat I yeah. want to be the champion of the world I mean could you see Schumacher playing pedal or paddle with any of his competitors no. I mean, or hanging out with them I, I don't understand that I mean mm. l- let's be honest Max is very very fast yeah. and he's a multiple winner and he's a champion so you know to beat him you're going to have to really go out of the norm to, to, to beat him he's in, like he intimidates the guys mm. and that's exactly what he did there. mind games you got to play them yeah Definitely. That wasn't mind games. If but he doesn't say sorry, well, then that's not... Yeah, we're not going to be friends. I mean, but... Sorry, uh, Lando, I, we, we love Formula One. We love we it. Do. And we love the rivalry. We're loving it. And I just wish there was more of it on the track and off the track. And yeah. Because it just makes a good viewing. That's all. We, we, we don't want to make the friendship... Uh, we, we wish it ill or whatever. But the point being is that on the track, we need to bring back old school racing in terms of making it competitive. If somebody... Obviously, I want to... If I'm racing against you in a car and I see you darting down the side... You damn straight. I don't want you coming past me. Look, Max knew that there's a risk that he would damage his car. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, closed, it's tin top racing as they Mm. call it, it's open wheelers. So there's always a 50-50% chance that one of the cars is going to get damaged. So Max very well knew what he was doing. But let's just take it back a step. Lando was diving from way back. If Max turned in one of those where he went straight, he would have T-boned Max. And then Mm. it would have been a different story saying, oh, you know, he's youngsters. It was ambitious. He shouldn't have been diving. So Max knew exactly what he was doing there. And I think it's great. I think they must stop penalizing him for you. Like, I mean, they wanted to give him a penalty for going Mm. off the track, but he was defending. You know, um, look, look, opinions are great things. You know, my f- view on opinions, insert bum hole. They're like bum holes, right? Everyone has them. <laughs> yes. Opinions, yep. bum holes. 100%. And everybody uh, thinks theirs doesn't stink. Yeah. Right. I think my opinion is my opinion doesn't stink. Yeah. Uh, what I don't really, and maybe you subscribe to this, maybe you don't. What I, what I feel, find weird is how do you tell a multiple world champion? Mm. Right, where you yourself have never been there, done that, got the T-shirt. I'm yep. talking about some of the, uh, the the folks involved in Formula One yes. that were analysing what happened. Good point. They were saying, "Oh, but he should have done this and he should have done that." And he's a, what? Yeah. Who? How? How are you? How are you able to critique? Okay, uh, maybe critique's not the right word, but how are you able to be in the mindset of a multiple world champion when he's defending a line or when he's trying to get... Yeah, I mean, they're criticizing him that he's, uh, you know, he's gone back to his old ways. He's a multiple champion. I mean, he's just there laughing, saying, you're going to tell me how to drive, how many championships have you won? Yeah. Like, like we spoke about, I mean, you don't see Tiger Woods when he hits the ball out of bounds at the comment goes, yeah, look, if he put his foot back and he bent his knees and kept his head down, he would have hit it straight. Can you imagine? Exactly. So the fact that everyone has their opinion, I mean, that's one, maybe the downside to Formula One is like we spoke about, is everybody has a say. Mm. They're in the limelight 24-7, these guys. But I think Max sits at home, he goes, he has my championship winning trophies. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, you know, yeah. have, have your say.
Love it. Uh, listen, local motor racing, the Lemons are all in charge this weekend. It's nine hours of Lemon Racing at Kalani International Speedway uh, and Raceway. That is where we will be this weekend for a bit of it. I'm going to go see some of these Lemons. A Lemon is a car under 55,000 Rand. Uh, in this particular uh, instance, uh, you need to find one, buy one, uh, maintain it for nine hours and hopefully oh. win the event. I love that. And there's four, three to four drivers, so it's quite exciting. It's quite nice to share a, a car a with, with, yeah. with teammates, you yeah. know, because obviously you know, you're know in your own little battle amongst other guys. And I think mm. as the race goes on, you're going to see a lot of bumping and barging as the guys get a little bit maybe tired. I don't think they realize nine hours is a long time to yes. be uh, in the car. But nice to see some of the old cars. I mean, I saw like an old Jaguars and like we spoke about the the Porsche, uh, mm. what are the lemon, Lemontini. Yeah, I mean, the 924 Lemontini with a martini cool. uh, uh, livery that's been changed to Lemontini. I like that. Uh, by the time you've watched this, it might have come and gone and there might be a winner of that already. But I love the idea. I love the concept. There's a rally that does that as well. Yes. I think you and I need to find a car and uh, in, in to, in that lemon right idea. Uh, rally as well. Uh, from that on to MotoGP yes. this weekend. Yeah, we go to Germany. So they've also had like after their summer break, you know, Formula One going into their summer break after Silverstone. Mm. Um, but yeah, MotoGP going to, to Germany. It's going to be very exciting. Again, the racing's really, really close there. And I think yeah, a little bit of a downside was that uh, Ducati ran away with it. Bagnaia in um, in the Netherlands, Essence, he was just dominant. It's like one of his favorite tracks. He seems mm. to always do well there. Um, lots of talk a moment about rider movement. Uh, Jack Miller still without a seat. He uh, came out saying that uh, up until like uh, by basically three hours, before they were about to announce mm. the team he was told that don't worry you're going to have a ride for next year we want you in the team and then got a phone call Boom. saying sorry sorry you're out yeah. you know so uh, ruthless but so much talent on the grid that mm. yeah I love it and that's something that MotoGP do very well they get the youngsters coming through they get nice. the competition going so yeah. Uh, yeah that's all happening this weekend nice from that on to some of the things we've been driving this weekend uh, I've got to say let's have a quick look at this Right, in the fast lane garage this week, the Honda Fit. Uh, this is brand new from Honda, 1500 engine. John's had the pleasure of trying to nail this uh, hybrid car. Great vehicle, We're it's, a different vehicle. It, it's very different, you know, if you look behind us, it looks yeah. small, but there's yeah. so much space. I don't know how they do it. They've got plenty of space behind, behind the seats. And then the, the front end's quite unusual. It's got the side window, very big front window, and the dash. Yeah. Have you seen the dash? Dash is like a table. You can actually, it's like a dining room table. You can sit down there only on one side because otherwise, you know, you'll have nobody on the other side because the windscreen's there. But you can dine about 17 people. Uh, you can have the last supper at the uh, the dashboard of the car. Seriously, it's an incredible vehicle. Lots of space to store things, obviously, in that front area, the table area. A different design, like John said, yeah. from uh, from Honda. But I like it. Arcing back a little bit, there's something about it that reminds me very much of Civic uh, yes. from the front, like a Civic sporty type look. And then the length of it, it's very deceptive in its size. You look at it and you think initially it's a small car, which it tends to be, but once you're inside and you take a proper look at the dimensions, it's actually quite a big car. I always want to show you something, being a fit, I mean, it's a fit model. Yeah. I want to show you how it flexes something. Just have yeah. a look. If they change the I to an A, it would suit me. Fat. Check it this. So this is the new Honda Fit. I want to show you something. Look how it flexes its muscles. Then from the Honda Fit to this, Brand new in the fast lane stable, it's the Toyota Corolla Hilux GRS. Brand new for 2024. What's new about it? Wider arches, a little bit more kilowatts, a little bit more newton meters of power, but what a great looking vehicle. One of the nicest looking buckies you gotta admit on the market at the moment. Great looking, great design. A lot of people have asked me, what have you put on the car? Are those uh, off uh, aftermarket wheels? No, that is how it comes. That is how the all new Toyota GRS comes from Toyota. Brand new, it looks like that bar. The canopy. I've had the canopy fitted on um, off the market as well. But what a great vehicle. Loving it at the moment. I think since taking delivery, we've only done 200 kilometers on the clock because uh, we've been busy with so many vehicles. What a great bucky. Looking forward to doing some amazing things with this vehicle. I don't know what yet, but some amazing things. Okay, from that to this Jaguar SVR. What a beast. V8 5 liter. That rumble. Oh. Supercharger. They've used the same SVR engine, this 5 litre, in the Range Rover. They've used it in uh, uh, numerous SVR uh, uh, models that they've had in the marketplace. But this is incredible. This is from our friends at Brandon Roller Luxury Collection. This is for sale. Let me tell you, we often say, what does a million rand buy you? If you don't want to buy a brand new double cab bucky or you're not in the market for something that's, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's a little bit more, and I don't want to say not family friendly, because this is very family friendly, but if you're looking for something with a bit more grunt, 2020 model, 43,000 Ks on the clock, plenty of oomph. Uh, standard package is everything. If you want everything from heated seats, heated steering wheel to dynamic uh, uh, stability control, everything about this vehicle is just incredible. Love it. 
Yeah. Nothing I to add. To, nothing to add. It's a great cough. I think it's awesome. I think they need to make more of these. Only downside is just take another million on side for tires because you're going to go through a hell of a lot of them. These are the hot cars in the garage this week. Right, by the way, that Toyota Hilux GRS that we've just taken delivery of. Huge thanks to Flynn's, to Michael Flynn. Yes. Uh, by the way, if you want to go have your car detailed and you miss, missed a little bit uh, of uh, of uh, the story of the Toyota GRS and going to Flynn's, we caught up with Michael very quickly, the guy that did the detailing on the Toyota Hilux GR GRS that's now in the fleet. Have a look at this. So John and I are with Mike Flynn, the owner of Flynn's. This is the place to come to bring your car. Let me tell you something. Uh, when you buy a car, even a, I, I talk about new cars, John, we talk about making sure you protect a new car, but a lot of people have had a car for a while and their car's in desperate need of a little bit of a makeover, yeah. a, a little bit of just a little bit of detailing to bring life back to that car. And this is where you come to see it, to, to come and have it done is at Flynn's. Uh, Michael, how long have you been uh, trading out here in, uh, in Cape Town? Uh, I've had the company for about 10 years, okay. um, started off mobile and then for about, did that for about three years and then uh, got my first unit after that. So yeah. You've had some incredible vehicles here, and obviously it's all walks of life that come see you. Yeah. Anybody who wants to take good care of their vehicle and make sure from the get-go, or uh, in, like I mentioned, in the instance where people have, have uh, a, a cars that have been around for a while and plastic they just want cars, to, yeah. plastic cars, cars yeah. that they want to just bring life back to, yeah. they'd come and see you. Yeah, 100%. So we do all sorts of cars, from your normal Polos to you know Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Um, most of our clients, or pretty much all of our clients, are people who love their cars and want to invest in their cars. Yeah, and I think, Mike, uh, take us through, I mean, Ryan's, we've got this fast yeah, lane's bought this I beautiful Bucky. I want to just talk about this GRS. What, what have we done here? What have you done to, to the, the vehicle? Cool, so basically on the Bucky, uh, even brand new cars, they sit in the harbour, they sit in the showroom, they get industrial fallout on them. So the first step is to decontaminate the paint with got a you. clay bar application, tar remover, iron remover. Then we do a, a machine polish to get the car as glossy and as shiny as possible before we seal it in with the ceramic coating, which is a paint protection layer to protect the car from industrial fallout, stone chips, scratches, wash marring, and that sort of thing. And the good news is, is that, Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, but this lasts more than just a couple of months. Yeah, so this coating we put on the car is a four-year coating. Um, you get lesser ones, but this is probably the, the top of the range one. What's the best way for people to contact you via the website or how do they yeah, make contact? So, so our website is flinsautodetailing.com or if you search on social media, Flins Auto Detailing, you'll find us there. Now here's some great news is that Mike wants you to look after your car. We want to look after your car. So there's a very special fast lane discount code. Yeah. It's on the screen right now. T uh, uh, TFS, the fast yeah. lane 20. TFS 20 on the screen, apply that on checkout and enjoy the little discounts. Importantly, do what's best for your car. Your car deserves to be a better car. You deserve to put a bit more love into it. And if you're looking for that and you're looking for the best of the best, this man over here, Mike Flynn at Flynn's, pop on by and come and take your car. Treat it the way that you would want to be treated if you were that car. Go and spoil it and here's to many, many years of happy motoring. Mike, thanks a huge stack to you for looking after the uh, GRS over there. It looks spectacular. The saddest part is it's a rainy day in Cape Town and John and I are going to tackle this wet weather. I want to leave it here until, until, until the sun comes out again. But this is what, the, this is what the ceramic yeah. coating yeah, does. Exactly, it protects me exactly. when I go out so there. Even, even though it's raining, at least it's done, it's protected, it's going to stay cleaner for longer and it's easier to maintain thereafter. Love it. Use the code on checkout. Look after your car. Lekker guy, you could hear in the background the rain pouring down where we were, driving that out of that warehouse, i got to say, it was a bit daunting getting out there, realizing that this car that has just been polished uh, and coated in the yeah. ceramic uh, coating was going out there. But uh, the timing was perfect, John, because we had, the roads were bad and, and the car really, uh, it was good that I had it protected and done that. So, by the way, if you'd like to be a part of the fast lane uh, TFL, the fast lane tfl20 when you go to mm. flynn's the details will be in the description as well go and check out his detailing 20 percent off whatever you have done uh, courtesy of us it's a little gift from us to you yep. uh, tfl20 use that on checkout and you get 20 percent off discounting at flynn's huge thanks to mike for that um then let's talk a little bit about uh the weekend activities off to the vineyard again vineyard hotel is beautiful oh. uh, we'll have pictures in the next podcast of what yes. that looks like in the next video vlog we'll have in uh pictures of the vineyard 
a spectacular mm. place. Uh, family and I always go there for a little bit of a breakaway. We talk about venues uh, that are in the, uh, the lifestyle of people that enjoy their cars and their wine and their oh. watches and all the cool things. The vineyard is such, also uh, such a great place. place uh, with Ireland playing South Africa. I mean, what a spot to go watch. Great place to go mm. and watch the island, uh, the island game and spend some time there with the family. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, some big things happening this month because it's the month of July. Yes. Uh, so at the end of this month, we'll be Ooh. making our way to Swatkops to go and race cars around the track. Oh, Details yes. of that coming up with Mercedes-Benz and the AMG experience closer towards the end of the month. Uh, also, a huge thanks to Sunlum Private Wealth uh, for some cool things happening with uh, with them up there, Breitling, and of course, our friends at OneBet and eBet. Um, other than that, uh, John? I did some indoor uh, go-kart racing. Got to see this. By yes. the way, the guys and girls at Tiger Valley, If you, and anybody else who's keen to join us, we want to put together a fast lane racing experience. If you want to take on John, not me because I'm like Captain Slow. <laughs> uh, if you want to take on John at karting, we're going to do indoor karting at Tiger Valley Shopping Center, and we're looking to do it towards the beginning of August. Beginning of August, we're going to take a, a Saturday morning. We're going to pre-book the track. There'll be how many slots? Are there? What's the maximum? I think they have the about 10, 10 carts on the track. 10 carts Ten and minutes, we'll have a 30 laps. leaderboard that we'll put up and once every two, three months we'll go do the fast lane karting at Tiger Valley. It's in the Cape. Mm. It's in the Cape. Uh, so we start the year. We will roll it out to the rest of the country. Yeah. Joburg, Durban, uh, Kobecha. Uh, it's coming your way. <laughs> but we'll start at Tiger Valley Shopping Center out in the, not in the, the center itself because the uh, some of the old ladies pushing trolleys don't enjoy when you come past them at high speed in a cart. Uh, just some cart <laughs> racing with small trolley. At that age they call it chart racing because you Try and race to beat the shot. Um, but we're going to do some uh, a racing art at, at Tiger Valley. And like I said, if you'd like to be a part of that, please let us know. Uh, mm. Come and be competitive and flex some uh, of your motorsport muscle as we uh, have a bit of fun at the track. Uh, that is it. Take care. Like, subscribe. Be a part of our growing community. That is the Fast Lane. And a huge thanks to all our sponsors, uh, to Brightling, to Sunlam Private Wealth, uh, and to Vili, the guys and girls at OneBet and eBet. We'll catch you next time. And just worry, feel the beat, feel the beat. Ryan and John can't be beat, can't be beat on the fast lane. So sleek, so sleek. Gotta rev up, hit the street, hit the street. Ooh, yeah.